Hello all, this is Dwingman97 here with the Promise TDC and Fire Control tutorial. Um, so I'm going to start out with the TDC, kind of give you the rundown of that. Um, when you place them on your vessel, TDC is not specific for a tube. So if you've got a bunch of MK2, which is the red, uh, two light gray and one gray here, if you've got those torpedoes, which are the MK2s, these will work on every single tube whereas fire control works directly with a tube number. So first thing you do, select TDC, it'll say straight and depth one. You can shift click to go to periscope and straight and you can shift click or not shift click, just right click normal to go from depth and uh, spread. So first thing I'm gonna show you is spread on straight. So a spread you left click and I'm just gonna go 20 and Dooley here is going to fire a torpedo on the MK2 side. You're going to fire the left, the red ones, bottom. Okay, I, I can see you do this a lot. And we're just going to watch it spread 20 blocks to the left. Yeah. So here we go. Here's it. Yeah, isn't it wonderful? Alright, so we're gonna fire this really quickly. Left tube fire. Doink. It's gonna go straight a little bit. And then, hey, look, that is spread 20. Alright. And it's a nice little spread that goes off. So you'll learn what spread 5 and spread 10 and 30 and whatnot does. Um basically the bigger the number the more it spreads so if you're off just by a little bit do spread five and you'll be just fine um next thing huh wonderful I don't see one but okay alright so now you're gonna fire the right bottom torpedo and I'm actually hold on don't do that yet we got to shift right click periscope depth zero on your TDC and on your periscope the depth on the TDC and periscope override the depth on the actual uh, dispenser so make sure that your TDC depth and fire control depth are set at zero alright so go ahead and fire and you'll see that go up and hey look it'll follow and it'll go back and forth and you can guide it all over the place so that's always fancy let's reset here alright so n next thing we're going to work on here is wow fail just break them all and we're gonna focus on MK3 so next thing is the MK3 torpedoes right click to activate them I can stupid that's called lag yeah so close the doors and make sure that the mk3s are set on zero alright so when you open up here on the wonderful uh, fire control you've got tube 3 and tube 4 my tube 3 is left my tube 4 is right It'll, it's the same uh, type of thing as the TDC shift click for periscope and then arm I'm not entirely sure what this is Max has not told any of us and it's been a while um, so arm just leave that on 20 and depth I wonder if I can yeah put that on zero both so we're gonna set both of them to depth zero alright so it's the ultimate test let's go see where this boat is and we can hit a uh... alright let's go find this boat and then we're going to hit a periscope shot on it with the mk3s alright so it is this massive castle so that's a good thing that right there is a spread 15 or you can periscope it and I'm going to periscope it. So ready right tube. And I'm going to get back down on the submarine. That way you can sort of see what's going on. 
da, 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 if I can learn how to climb down ladders. Right tubes, set periscope, and fire. No, oh, we're definitely going to be killing John. And now we wait. Oh, yeah. And now we wait. Alright, so reload that. And let's go take a look at the damage that we dealt to the back of the uh, castle. Question is where? <laughs> Fail. Um, yep, here's some damage up here. And the actual torpedo shot I cannot find. So, alright. Uh, so that's kind of how it works. Just flips forward. Uh, fire both. And actually, hold on. Don't do that yet. Um, that's alright. We'll just follow it. So you're going to see one of them go to depth 1 and the other one go to depth 0 and follow where my torp uh, where my periscope was last time. And ka boom. And there's the damage hole for the depth 0 and up here is the damage hole for the depth 1 which is 0 cuz it went right through, which was actually a really good shot. Um so do remember that the fire control is for each tube and not for every single tube so you'll need if you've got eight tubes on your torpedo you're gonna need a lot of fire control for example uh, before I change these to MK2 for this video here is my wall of fire control one two three four five six seven eight so that's a lot of signs and it's about thirty thousand um, dollars this subtotal is about thirty thousand dollars so the fire control is about mm, 10, I think they're 2,000 a piece, so maybe $16,000 for this fire control set here. Um, so you gotta have the money. Yeah, MK3s are two grand, and the fire control are uh, two grand a sign. Um, so let's do this here. I'm gonna set them both on periscope. Can you reload the top? Alright, so now. Let's have some fun here. We're going to... Hmm... I know what we'll do. Uh, reload the bottom ones, too. Depth zero. Perfect. So let me know when those are reloaded, and I'm going to show you a little trick if you're a submarine and you're being chased by just about any vehicle that's in the water and uh, I'm going to shoot it against this guy because it'll be simple. Let me know when you're ready. Fire bottom right tube. Quickly. As he's about to shoot at us. Boom. Alright, so you're going to watch the torpedo flip around here. And now fire left tube. And you gotta wait for it. Then you're gonna see the torpedo flip around here. Of course, that didn't go in the direction that I was hoping, so we're screwed. But, uh, yeah, so just work out all of your fun. Alright, let's set this to periscope. Fire left, or no, fire right tube MK3. Should be tube four. Boom, tube four. And we're gonna set it this way, and hopefully it'll turn around. It disappeared, and it ran off in the other direction. If I had a better render distance, this would be a heck of a lot easier. So let's go try and chase that torpedo. Um, if you decide for whatever reason that your target suddenly dies and you need to mid shot change uh, the targets on periscope look in a different direction and it'll follow that so it's quite nifty and fancy 
Um, so hopefully this gave you the rundown, the basics anyway, of the beautiful TDC and fire control. Of course, no nothing wants to work when I'm trying to film it, um, especially when it's a tutorial, as you've seen from bomb droppers and from torpedoes and everything else. Um, so yeah, it's quite fun. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm still trying to figure out what the arm setting does, and I should have that figured out next time I talk to Maximus Payne or Dave. I don't know if Dave actually knows. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so message me or put it in the comments if you've got any questions. And, uh, yeah, so thanks, guys, for watching. Finally got this video up. It's been about a year since somebody's asked me for this, so I have done it. Alright guys, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you all later.